Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a postpartum essentials video. I'm gonna be showing you all of the things that I have been doing lately to prep for this whole postpartum part of my life here in a couple of months. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Kayla. I am currently 33 weeks pregnant probably when you see this or maybe a little bit further along, but this is my second pregnancy. I have a toddler named Riley who is 22 and a half months old right now. So her and the baby are gonna be two years apart. So I'm gonna be juggling a lot of craziness in my life. Point is I've been through this before. So this is like I said, my second pregnancy. I wanted to share with you guys like things that I used last time with my postpartum recovery with Riley and then a couple new things that I've kind of updated since then and some things that I learned along the way so let's get into it this video is probably gonna be a little bit TMI because this whole postpartum recovery period is very painful and very awkward and there's just a lot of things that not a lot of people tell you about how you're going to recover after you give birth now all this to say I had a vaginal birth with Riley so all the things that I used to recover was because I had the vaginal birth and I actually did have an episiotomy done. So they like cut me down there. That was a lot of fun. My husband is still scarred for life to this day about hearing them snip me. So the very first thing that I recommend is that you get yourself a little basket, okay? And we're gonna talk about all the things that are in the basket. This is something that I did before I got home from the hospital. And then this little basket can go like either behind the toilet or somewhere that's gonna be easy for you to reach in your bathroom because you're going to be going to the bathroom a lot when you're recovering because Gonna be a lot of bleeding There's gonna be a lot of stuff happening there and you're gonna want to have all of your stuff just easily accessible right so when you go home from the hospital they're gonna send you home with a whole bunch of things at least they did when i came home from the hospital they sent me home with like the mesh panties that you guys always hear about they sent me home with um dermoplast which is kind of like a numbing agent for down there and i think they sent me home with just a bunch of pads they even sent me home with like what looked like wee wee pads, like for your dogs. Last year I actually filmed like a postpartum essentials video and I showed you guys like the little bag that I brought home from the hospital. So if you guys are curious and wanna see that, I will leave that video linked down below. But this is another one of the things that, that they sent me home with. This is a little Perry bottle in case you don't know, when you come home from the hospital for a few weeks, I think it is, like you're not allowed to wipe yourself down there. So you're not gonna be taking toilet paper and cleaning yourself down in that area. You're gonna be cleaning yourself with a Perry bottle. So this was just like the regular Perry bottle. It would go like this. I'd fill it up with warm water, turn it upside down and just like clean down there. But something that I found this year that a lot of mamas have recommended is this Freedom Mom Upside Down Perry Bottle. And I actually haven't opened it yet, but it makes sense that this would probably be a little bit easier to use. So let's open it up. I swear I haven't opened it up yet. So it comes in this little bag, which is really cute. It's like a little drawstring bag. And then let's see. Okay. And then this is what it looks like. I guess, I don't know, I don't know why it does this, but it kind of goes up and down here and you can squish it and the water will come out from here. And if you guys can imagine like just taking this and squirting it down in your hoo-ha, that's what you're gonna be doing for a couple weeks. Chances are you're gonna be in pain for a while. I was looking at that video that I filmed just to like get a refresher and I actually told you guys that I was in pain for like almost a whole month after I gave birth to Riley. Like I was bleeding. For weeks i think like that long if not longer i was bleeding and i literally felt like i had to like walk on my tippy toes because every time that i would walk it was sore down there it was sore it was painful so that's another thing i was alternating between meds for like a whole month i was alternating between tylenol and motrin and without those meds i don't think i would have been able to get through my life because even though i didn't have stairs in my house just like walking around from my room to the family room it was very painful like all i wanted to do was lie in bed and not move my legs in that general area. I would clarify with your doctor before you leave the hospital, let them know what kind of meds um, they would let you have. Another thing that they normally send you home with or that they give you there at the hospital is stool softener. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get stool softener. I talk about this in my TMI childbirth video, which is like the most popular video here on my channel. But that first postpartum poop, you guys, is like, no joke it's like nothing that i've ever experienced before i was so scared to use the bathroom after i gave birth to riley it's funny because i think back to like her birth and like her birth was you know okay it was painful obviously but i had an epidural and it was you know fine i didn't experience like a ton of pain like pushing her out but the postpartum poop that first poop i think once i finally went to the bathroom i was like more proud of the fact that i had actually pooped 
than I had given birth to a baby. So just take the stool softener. It'll help with everything down there because you're scared to push. You're scared to like strain yourself. So yeah, that's what you have to look forward to. Okay, back to our little basket. So another thing that they're gonna probably send you home with or that you should have ready um, are tux pads. These are from last time, but I actually bought myself a brand new um, container. But these are just medicated cooling pads. They're gonna help with just overall soreness down there. They have witch hazel, which has a lot of like healing properties. And all you're gonna do is just like take one of these every time that you use the bathroom. And what I would do is I would take just one of these little pads and I would put them like on my pad like that I had on my underwear and it just was like cooling and refreshing and that is exactly what you want on your vagina when you are recovering. So these tux pads plus the dermoplast that I mentioned before, that's normally what the nurses will tell you to go home and to put on every single time that you use a bathroom. I honestly did not like dermoplast. I liked something a whole lot better and that is this. This is the Earth Mama New Mama Bottom Spray. I used this, like I went through multiple bottles when I had Riley when I was recovering from that birth. The packaging for this has actually changed since last time but this is like from last time because I stocked up and it's still good through April 2020 I think. Yeah, April 5th, 2020. So I use this a ton and I would spray a ton of it. This also has witch hazel, so I think that's what makes everything feel so nice down there. But I just loved it 10 times more than the Dermoplast, so I highly recommend it. And I don't think I've said it already in this video, but all of the stuff that I have mentioned or will mention, I'm gonna leave link down below for you guys. Super easy for you to shop. And if you're gonna buy this stuff anyway and you use my links, I get a small commission. So I would really super appreciate it if you use my links. Earth Mama is actually a really great brand and I use a lot of their products for myself and for Riley last time around. This is the organic nipple butter and yes, you're gonna need butter for your nipples if you're planning on nursing. A lot of people mention the Lanzano, I think that's the brand, like the purple one that's like also a nipple cream. But this one is just really organic and one of the reasons why I bought it was because your baby is going to, well this is what it looks like just in case you're curious, but one of the main reasons that I bought this one last time around is because you're going to be applying this on your sore boobs, on your sore nipples, and your babies are also going to be like sucking on your boob, sucking on your nipples. So I wanted to make sure that whatever I was putting on that area that Riley, like it was okay for her to like be around and so whatever. This was like the cleanest thing that I could find and a lot of people enjoy it. I really enjoyed it. So this is one of the things that I picked up that's really like for breastfeeding but also postpartum if you are planning on nursing. What else? Um, a sits bath is something that you're gonna want to get yourself. I'm gonna include a picture because I don't have an actual sits bath. But I had never heard of a sits bath before I gave birth to Riley and essentially it's like this little tiny little like bathtub for your vagina and your butt. <laughs> like I don't know how else to say it but you put it on the toilet. Um, at least the one that I got, you just put it on the toilet, you fill it up with warm water, and you just sit there and you soak in it. Your bottom nether regions just soak in it. And it just feels so nice when you're recovering. One of the things that I would add to that bath are Epsom salts. Um, this was just like a lavender, calming, relaxing soak. So I would fill up the tub with just warm water, and then I would add some of this, and I would just soak in it for like five or 10 minutes at a time, and then I would always come out of that sits bath feeling just a lot better, a lot less sore down there and then I was able to walk a little bit and take care of my baby. So that was one of the things that I found super helpful. Since we're just like all TMI today, <laughs> something that I had to get before I had even left the hospital was this thing. This is like a donut and you inflate it and it's like a little cushion for your butt. <laughs> because with Riley, I had the worst like butt labor and I know that's a thing. I know I'm not the only one who's gone through it, but the pressure that came out of my butt was far worse than any pressure coming out of my vagina and that is where Riley actually came out of. She came out of my vagina yet my butt hurt so much. I couldn't even sit down on the bed at the hospital after I gave birth to her. I got this little donut, I inflated it and that just helped like everything just feel better. Like I was actually able to sit down and as embarrassing as it is, like it was just a huge lifesaver. So if you have pain in your butt, I highly recommend you have one of those handy, readily available because that shit was no joke. All right, so let's talk about pads. Last time around, I used the mesh panties that they had given me at the hospital. Like when I was at the hospital, I used the mesh panties and I just put a giant pad in that mesh panty. I didn't really like that at all. I felt like the mesh panty 
was like sliding all over the place. I was scared that the pad was gonna move out of place and it just was not comfortable. I wasn't a fan of it. So when I got home, one of the things that I did was I had gotten like just some like super cheap like Hanes underwear, like granny panties that I just did not care if I messed up, destroyed. And I would put like a giant thick pad in one of these and that was kind of like the underwear that I would use when I was bleeding a ton like those first few weeks. Eventually I graduated to like the smaller thinner pads, but I didn't go and start using tampons like for a long time. Honestly, I think like after I gave birth, I was so scared to put a tampon back in there like put something up my vagina it took a long time for me to get back to tampon so i used pads for a long time which by the way talking about putting stuff back up your vagina you're not gonna have sex for six weeks so just know that most doctors will tell you no sex and no exercise for six weeks so just know that ahead of time so you can clear that with your partner but talking about pads and the whole bleeding situation this is what i bought this time around i bought these always discreet uh, underwears. <laughs> They're basically adult diapers. Um, I'm gonna show you what they look like because I had no idea what they would actually look like but we'll see. I'm gonna try them. Um, they had two different sizes. They had a small medium and a medium large. I got the small medium. They bring 16 in each of these packs. I ordered a pack from Amazon and I think I got like three of these. <laughs> so I've got plenty of freaking adult diapers um, to last me a very long time. But I will open it so you guys can see what they look like. They look legit like like diapers. And this is what I'm gonna be wearing. At least the first week I'll probably be wearing these unless I find that they're absolutely terrible. If you guys have tried these yourselves or have heard of anyone who has experience using these, let me know down below. Um, it just like it has a giant pad on the inside. But I do feel like this is just gonna like give me some peace of mind that like the pad's not going anywhere. It's like part of the diaper. So I don't have to worry about the pad moving around and like leaking and any of that. So I have a feeling that I'm gonna like these more. So I have just a couple more things that I wanna show you. I ordered these nursing bras off of Amazon and it came in a pack of three. I really like these. I think that they are going to be perfect. Sorry, it came with like an extra like pad. And I got the set that had the three different colors. There's like a pink, the tan, and the black. I think they have other sets that are like three nude or three black, um, but I like the multicolored one. These are so much nicer than the ones that I got last time around from Motherhood Maternity. I think that's where I bought mine. I'm gonna try to like include footage of me wearing these. These are in a size small but I was really impressed because you know like when you order stuff from Amazon, it can either be like really great or awful. This is just the comfiest thing to live in postpartum, especially if you're nursing. So I was impressed with the quality of these and I'm really glad because I didn't pay a fortune for them because nursing bras and stuff like that, like they can be really expensive. I bought one at Target that was $16. It was like $16.99 just for one. This pack I think was like 20 bucks or something like that. So as of right now, I haven't obviously used them yet, but as of right now, I really like these. And then I did buy a black pajama. Having some kind of black or dark colored loose fitting pajama is an absolute must when it comes to postpartum recovery, number one, because you're gonna want to live in just like comfy, loose clothing because everything's gonna be just sore and tight. So you're gonna wanna have just comfy, comfy stuff to live in. And you're gonna want for it to be black or dark because you're gonna be bleeding. And at least for me, I was bleeding a ton. So I wasn't gonna go and like be in white pajama pants because I was always like super scared, nervous that I was gonna like leak or that I was gonna then have a blood stain on my, my clothes and everybody was gonna see it. So at least with a black pajama, you might leak, but at least not everybody has to see it. And then this is something that I ended up using as soon as I got back home from the hospital. It's like a little like waist trainer and this honestly was not the best one. This one I got, I think I grabbed this one from Target. I think I sent my mom to Target to find me one, but you're gonna want some kind of like compression to put on your belly at least I mean maybe not everybody wants one but when I gave birth to Riley I swear I went to the bathroom and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like what the heck like I thought I had a baby why do I still look super pregnant so like she's not in there anymore so why does my belly look so big and at least as a first time mom I was like slightly traumatized because of that I was really expecting that I was gonna lose a lot more weight than I did after giving birth to her it wasn't the case 
at all so I was still very very pregnant looking and I just didn't feel really good about my body as soon as I got home so having something like this that just like keeps everything in that like helps to like get that skin back to where it used to be I found it helpful they have different kinds they sell a whole bunch of like different like corset looking kinds like I was home and I wanted to still be comfortable I, I didn't want to be like all like sucked in and like where I couldn't move because obviously I still had to nurse my child and take care of her and do all the things that come with being a mom but I felt like having just something to put over my belly and to like I, I don't know like even if it wasn't actually working just thinking that maybe it was helping helped so I think that's everything as of right now that I have bought for postpartum recovery obviously if things change I will be updating you guys here on my channel so make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss anything I'm still gonna be putting up like my what's in my hospital bag video and a couple other like baby prep videos so stay tuned for those but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any other tips of your own make sure to leave them down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and like I said subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys okay so I wanted to show you guys what the nursing bras look like so first of all hello this is my belly almost 33 weeks these are just like some random maternity leggings that I've been wearing so just you know ignore this but this is what the bras look like and this is like I said a size small and I feel like it fits really well right now I'm like a 36 C in bras I'm not normally that big it's only when I'm pregnant but they're super comfortable I feel like the material is awesome you can adjust them so if I pull this down then I have a little bit more space and my boobs will probably get bigger when I start nursing so I'm not exactly sure how long I will be able to wear the small I may have to go up to a medium right now I think I'm happy with the size that I got because sometimes like if I go up a size in bras then it doesn't fit me like it's just way too big so these are great they have the little clips obviously I'm not going to unclip it and show you my boob but if you guys are first-time moms that is what a nursing bra does it unclips from here and then you can whip out your boob and feed your child And then yeah, since we're friends over here, I figured I would put this on and show you what it actually looks like because uh, I put this on for the first time and I was like, what the heck is this? But this is what the diaper looks like. Super sexy, super fashionable. Like I'm definitely gonna wear this out. But honestly, it's pretty comfortable right now. I just feel like it's gonna work a lot better than the mesh panties, at least for me. It also won't be as tight since I won't be like, you know, eight months pregnant. But yeah, this is what an adult diaper looks like in case you guys have ever wondered. And now we're really done. And if anyone ever screenshots that video of me wearing an adult diaper and does something mean with it, I will hunt you down. But honestly, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you guys took something away from it. We are all in this motherhood journey together and it is not always glamorous so again I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one bye guys